Hi, I'm Sherry Blejo, and I've got a great tip for you today on Acumatica. It's about those drop-down lists and how easy it is to get those little things modified. So let's get to it. I love the flexibility of Acumatica. Built into the system are all kinds of ways that you can configure and customize your system. So I want to show you an example today while I'm working with an opportunity. I've already created the opportunity, talked to the client, hoping to make the sale, and he comes back and says, no, we're going to have to wait till next year. And he sounds a little iffy. So I want to change this status not to lost. I'd rather it be stalled. Out of the box, these are the three options that come with the opportunity. I'm going to create one more status code where I can put my opportunities into a stalled state before I finally give up and move them to lost. Everybody's first thought is that they're going to go over here to the customer preference and would expect to see some options on changing various codes like status, reason, stage, source. And you can see those don't exist, not even under customer preference. Well, here's where those little things are hidden. If you go into System, Automation, Automation Steps. So everybody is always a little bit puzzled about this. And the reason why, and we'll talk about this in future videos, is that you can automate workflow based on your specific parameters changing. So for instance, if it went to a stalled status, maybe you'd want an automatic notification to go to the manager of sales saying that a big deal has been put on hold. And we'll talk about that later. But today, let's just focus on how do we get that change in. So I'm going to move over to the automation step. And the first thing I'm going to do is find the screen that I was working on, which was the opportunity screen. You can see that this navigation system looks just like or very similar to the navigation system up top. And so I'm going to pick organization. CRM. I was in my work area and I was doing some data entry into opportunities. I was also on the step called new. There are three tabs. Conditions and actions are tied back to that workflow automation that I've referred to that we'll talk about again in the future. But I'm really much more interested in this fields and there is my field called status that I want to update. If I had not seen it in this table, if that field name had not appeared, that's not a problem. All you would do is hit the plus sign. It adds another line down here at the bottom. And then, then you can just pick from the drop down list of all the available combo and validation boxes. And instead, I'm just going to come over here to status and then right here is this option called Combo Box Values. I'll pick it, and there are my three options, New, Open, Lost. And what I want to do is add my stall. So I'm going to just right mouse click, add a new line. Of course, we're going to make this be S for stalled. Close it. Again, make sure I save my work. Now we're going to navigate back over to that opportunity that we were working with. Here under Opportunities. There's this quote that's giving me a bit of a trouble. Can't get that guy to sign that deal. And now under Status, I have an option called Stalled. Set it in a stalled mode, save my work, and I'm off and running. Here's an important note. When you get back to this screen, if your option doesn't appear, it's pretty easy to figure out why. It's because you picked the wrong screen. So the drop downs allow you to limit them based on the type of transaction that you're working on. To fix this is pretty easy. All you would need to do is go back into your system automation step. You can see that it's still setting on opportunities and it's telling us that we fixed it on step ID or screen new. 
and most likely you'd need to find it. Maybe it's an open, lost one. So you just have to find the correct screen here. It's as simple as that. Thank you.